Hi everyone, I'm Rob from Woodward Games and guess what? We have a new king of blackout rugby manager. I'm not sure who the last one was, but anyway. And what did this new king go and do? He broke the game. Okay, not literally, but he figured out how to optimize pretty much everything about this game in a very short amount of time. And who are we talking about? The manager known as Frosty with the rugby club called Cambridge. Let's go have a look and see if we can go find him in the na nice national. Okay, great start already. Want to go to the competitions. Ladder. And here's Cambridge in second place at the moment. He has been at the top of the ladder for the last um, couple of weeks or so. Look, he's only like has a level 23 team. So that's quite an amazing feat to, to achieve. And who's at the... Oh, it's Woodward Games at the top. I just, just you know. <laughs> okay, so let's go check out Cambridge. So Cambridge is by manager Frosty. Last active 46 minutes ago. Does he ever sleep? <laughs> Club country is United States. Might be from time zone specific. But yeah, well, not too sure where he's from. He'll, he'll let us know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the, what makes this club so special. So basically, what makes it interesting is that Frosty only created this club, as you can see, in Season 8 of 2023, which is, it says there, 213 days ago. So in just 213 days of the club's existence, he managed to produce the first ever level 100 player and, of course, get to the top of the ladder. So, you know, beating in, in such a short time, beating all of these old and, you know, the slightly smelly dogs who have been around since the game was played, first played like via cave drawings, I think. And he did it as a level 23 uh, club, which is pretty impressive. So what I want to go and do is go check out this level 100 player. He's got so many amazing players. Let's just quickly scroll through at his current stage. Level 72, he's only 19 years old, hard and experienced. So if you just scroll through here, he's like 19 years old and level 78. Okay, let's go find the 100. It should, ooh, and level 92 player, he's only 22 years old, legendary experience. And we're going to level 794, Richie McCaw's there, <laughs> a level 94 player. And it's going to, there it is. This is the player, Gareth Edwards, level 100, legendary experience. He is only 23 years old and 19 days. Legendary, level 100, 23 years old. So this guy, this player can actually improve or increase in level. Speed, acceleration, 74, 78, agility, 99, 55. So check out these stats. They're pretty good for a level 23 player. I'd say they're quite awesome, actually. 71 catching, 74 line breaking, 73 awareness. Okay. The speed and acceleration might be a bit low, but he is a scrum half, so that's totally understandable. His agility, 99, that's what you need. So what makes uh, this a level 100 player so special? Well, the highest level players before, like the last a couple of weeks ago, there are only two players that hit level 90, not 100, level 90. And that was just before their 33rd birthday. You know, and that's like when you start losing skills and stuff. And it took them like 32 seasons to get to level 90. This dude, he's 
a hundred level a hundred he's only 23 years old so it's going to be interesting to see how far this player advances what would this is going to be the record ba breaking player so it's pretty crazy when you think about it and if you want to know i can't quite remember who that awesome dude was that produced those level those two level 90 players but you probably see who it was in one of the, the past videos if you dare <laughs> now the question is everyone's wondering is how did he do this in such a short amount of time well i told him the secret sauce which you too can have for the modest sum of $999.99 and a pair of your grandma's undies. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Did I, I said that out loud? Okay, forgive me. Sorry. Just check. Okay, so Frosty, basically. Nothing to do with me. Frosty maximized training sessions, training matches, and ladder matches to beef up like steroid not beef up it's like steroid up all of his players and here how does he do that we're talking about hideous amounts of games all day every day eight days a week 25 hours a day i'm pretty sure he did mention in the discord how many matches he was playing it was something like at least 30 ladder matches a day and he would set the timer like every like 10 minutes or so and click some buttons to set up the friendly tr training matches and ladder matches and things like that and he also mentioned something about five or so matches per hour over 12 hours that's you know with the goal being 60 matches per day now that is serious dedication i'm lucky if i do eight or nine ladder matches a day ten if i get other new people up in the ladder because when you're at the top of the ladder on the top ten you're quite limited on who you can play against but he manages to do it because he was lucky to be uh, further down the ladder where you can just play against a lot more other players now there are some changes coming to the uh, the training match experience soon so it may not be possible to have such powerful players ever again which is why we have this screenshot in this video now and you're wondering who is this frosty dude that suddenly appeared and and disrupted all of these old dogs <laughs> okay according to the internet okay actually the discord <laughs> uh frosty actually used to play the classic blackout rugby you know remember that some of you might know that in case you didn't know there was an earlier version of blackout rugby manager that was completely browser based that jeremy created while wearing bananas and pajamas costume something like that there is photographic evidence of that so you can't deny it you cannot deny it and my team in that version was called woodward chili because at the time i was living in chile so yeah so i used to battle it out with another team called dc barbarians if anyone's from back way back in the annals of history that sounds terrible the annals of history anyway way back in time and remember dc barbarians or woodward chili and there were some other really good uh, teams too well dc barbarians was actually frosty's team way back in 2005 or 2006 or 1864 it's a long time ago anyway so he isn't exactly a newbie to the game in case you were wondering so he does have some experience and he loves trying to according to discord what he mentioned excelling like squeezing the maximum out of the game so this is his player if you want we'll go have a look at some of his other players so like 90 oh we got Bowden barrett's in there you got look at all of these amazing players he's like just turned 19 he's level 71 
He's 22 years old. He's level 86. Jeff Wilson's in there. <laughs> so many. You got Rory Underwood. You got how many star players has he got? Joe Rogococo. Yeah, I love him. Man, it's just ah, it's just so many cool players. So a level 95 Welsh Barry John also, and he's 23 years old. So if you just look at some of these players. His team is, honestly, it is hard to beat. For example, I went left a, let's, I mean, let's go check out his competition. He's just blitzing. He's got three points against 1,100 points for us. Like, I feel so sorry for the other guys in his league because it's just like, ah, I'm just gonna, there's no hope in hell. And the only reason I'm at the top of the ladder right now is because... Cambridge mentioned today that he was gonna wanted to drop down the ladder and he said to to Chung from Scotland like you know if you want to take try and take the top place and I did it first <laughs> I was like oh I can do that <laughs> because I tried uh, playing against Cambridge I don't know if I've got the matches here Cambridge Cambridge I actually won that one because he put like probably like a basic team I can't actually see uh okay no i can't i can't actually see it but when I, I i put my first team in there against um cambridge and i hadn't i i wasn't even close i was like i think i might have lost it by 50 points with my first team my main team so it just shows just imagine how his team is going to be in like a season or two even like now, it's incredible. In another season or two, it's just going to be dominating everyone. But at the same time, that's a good thing because it makes other creators cry. <laughs> no, it makes some um, other creators, not creators, managers, play YouTube things. Uh, it makes other managers um, probably like try and think of how they can do the same. It's pretty hard because... Most of us cannot spend all day just connecting and playing games. I mean, sometimes I'm lucky because I can have the the game on the side and every now and then I can do like a match or something, but it's not often. There's, you know, life things that you have to do. So it's going to be interesting what happens with the changes that are coming with the training and the experience and everything like that. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And... Are we ever going to see a, a level 100 player again? I'm just curious to know everyone that's watching this. The multitudes that are watching this. Mum, dad. Um, what was the highest level player you had? Mine's like 90. Might have been 91. I might have scraped in a 91 if I'm lucky. That was about it. What was the highest level player um, you ever had? And I think I've got... One more question is when Frosty goes to the supermarket and is in the veggies section, when he like starts rummaging through, you know, looking through the carrots, is Frosty picking his nose? Until next time, have an awesome day.